Now to new developments along Galveston seawall. Starting tomorrow, you will have to pay to park there, but how you pay is causing a lot of confusion and some controversy. Unless you have a computer, a credit card, or a cell phone, you could be out of luck. Vicente Arenas is live in Galveston tonight with the story. Vicente? A lot of people have been talking about these signs that are up and down Seawall Boulevard. You can see them lined up one after the other behind me here. They have plastic on them, and they, that plastic won't come off until tomorrow, telling drivers that they have to pay about a dollar an hour. Some people like them, some people don't. The signs are posted along two sections of Seawall Boulevard. They tell people to pay, but there are no meters. Yeah, it is confusing. I was wondering the same thing, like, what if you don't have a credit card, or what if you don't want to relinquish that card? You must have a credit card to use the new parking system and a smartphone, a home phone, or a computer. Bad news for Betty Langley's friends. Now I'm going to have to say, you know, come down, bring your cell phone, you know, get you a permit to park, and then meet us on the beach. I don't like that idea. The fees are expected to generate up to $2 million a year. It is a good idea. There, he said that the, all the money will go back into the seawall to improve it with restrooms and, and things of that nature, and I, I think that is necessary. The money will be used to build restrooms and beautify the boulevard. That doesn't sound right. Why not? Well, I mean, you come down here to have a good time, and you want to park on the seawall here, and now you got to pay to park. Some people who live nearby are worried. You know, in our neighborhood, you know, we watch out for each other. Now you got a bunch of people coming into the neighborhood. Who's going to be watching out for us? Drivers will have to register their license plate numbers if they want to park along the seawall. Officers will use cameras mounted on patrol cars to find drivers who haven't paid. The fine for not paying to park here is about $17. So now the big question is, what if you don't have a cell phone or what, don't you, what if you don't have access to a computer? The city is telling us that there are several merchants along the boulevard that will allow you to use a telephone. And there will be courtesy officers to make sure you understand how to pay if you want to park here. There will be courtesy officers. And there is one other thing. For the first week or so, no tickets are going to be issued. Officers are saying they simply want to help people understand what the process is for parking cars along Seawall Boulevard, uh, Boulevard, a big deal because people had parked here for free for so very long. Reporting live from Galveston, Vicente Adonis, KHOU 11 News. Vicente, thank you.